<laughs> You're unbelievable. Do you have any idea how much next door went for? 400. <laughs> and the rest, which leaves this the only place in the whole street not being developed. So if we don't move for it now... We? Think about it. Everyone will be after it. McElroy's, Donovan's. You get in first, you get six, maybe eight apartments, plus a couple more out the back. You'd be laughing, you'd have people queuing round the block. I've already got people queuing round the block. Yeah, but this... This ain't really my thing. Oh, well, if it's a bit too ambitious. Nice well, try. Don't you want me to take an interest in your business? An interest, yeah. A takeover bid. Pass. But this house is different. It could be your biggest project yet. It could take the business to a whole new level. Yeah, it could if the guy would sell. Looks we both know he won't. He could be encouraged to sell. You are unbelievable. <laughs> Please stop nicking my razor light. Okay, guys, birthday alert. Mine next week. So can I please ask people not to buy me stuff? What? I'll order it myself online. Get it gift wrapped. Then all you need to do is write a message. You wouldn't rather dictate something. Then I'll look surprised, and we're all happy. You're such a romantic. No, I just happened to hate pink carnations, crap perfume and cushion cards. Yeah, hello. You might be interested to know. Dad's just died. Say nothing. Just bring them back here now. I need some bed. I sent the kids. No, I need to get them. I need to tell them myself. Yes, we're all going, Alice. Yes, you do have to be there. Because it's a family thing. Oh, for God's sake, Alice, get a grip. It seems Phil again. What's she like now? You're not curious? Why would I be curious? Unbelievable. She just strolls in and takes over like she's never been away. And Beth is just loving it. Anything to get at me. And Dennis, with that ridiculous makeup, which is sheer affectation, but then he always did have to be centre of attention. Typical. Been here five minutes and suddenly she's head of the family. She is? And not this family. Not the family she chose to abandon. Who's the eldest? Who's held us together? Who's single-handedly made us what we are? I wouldn't have thought she was the maternal type. Plus, I think she might have left it a bit late. Doesn't look in great shape for conceiving. Too thin. Not exactly a massive turnout. Not exactly Mr. Popular, was he? Do you really think trackies are suitable for a funeral? Uh, excuse me, have you caught the outfit on our Dennis? How do you think she looks? Older. <laughs> Beth's on her second grade. It's going to kick off in a minute. You don't have to stay. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry. Okay. All right! It's party time! Beth, <laughs> start with an old favourite from way back. True dare, kiss, command or promise. Everyone just ignore Beth. I'll go first, I'll go first. And I command everyone to name the first person they ever shagged. <laughs> George Elibrand. Louise Tunstall. You don't have to play this. Joel from Good Charlotte. What? Or was it Nigel Mitten? Miss Lebron, French teacher. <laughs> hey, what about you, Al? 
No, I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Look, I really think this is inappropriate. <laughs> we can't you remember who yours was? Oh, yeah, I remember perfectly. Uh... <clears throat> Four fifty. Depends who's buying. The developer wouldn't pay more than three eighty. So if I offer three sixty minus my share, which means I tip up three, sell it to you for three eighty. You got it. Build eight apartments. Do you ever give up? <laughs> There's a mint to be made if you just jump your objections to mass production. God, how bored am I of hearing the small is beautiful bollocks? Why can't you be a craftsman? And a property tycoon. I don't have the skill, sweetheart. You don't look any different. But I am. You wouldn't know me. Phil, I'd know you anyway. So, you and Phil didn't have much to say. When? Just now, you hardly spoke to each other. Wasn't much opportunity. Wonder what she thinks of you. How much you've changed. No more writing poems and marching for world peace. No, people move on. People move on? They certainly do. Luxury homes, gushy lifestyles. So what happened to saving the planet? Where did all the socialist principles go? I paid tax, Nita. I do quality work, I paid top wages. Well, maybe you wish you weren't minted. Maybe you'd rather still live on a council estate and read the Morning Star and vote communist. Yeah, right now I wish I was going to sleep. Well, maybe you wish you'd ended up with Phil. You don't want to talk about it? Your ex, my sister, turns up after 20 years and you've got nothing to say. She'd be leaving any minute. We'll probably never see her again. What else needs to be said? When you get here. But you knew I'd come. Good to see you. Was that it? <laughs> what did you expect? Promise me one thing. Hey, babe. I thought you might like to give me this. Nope. But I would like to give you this. I appreciate the thought. It's just that I always like to know what I'm letting myself in for. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, Rick! Oh, is this not the coolest guy on the planet? Well, I had absolutely no idea what he was up to down here. Let that freak you. What? That up stuff you can't keep tabs on. Fortunately, we have the kind of relationship where we don't need to keep tabs on each other. Ah, uh, people. It's your birthday's next month. Well, it's not one, not. Cheers. Oh, stop. I'm gonna get all emo. Hmm? Emotional. Steady, steady. My lovely babies. And my groovy guy. I 
wish we could all be a family again. I wish Dad was still with us. And I wish Dennis wouldn't be so hostile. And I totally wish Phil hadn't had to rush off. Oh, go. Guess who didn't go after all? She realised we hadn't done the reading of the will, so... Well, I expected Dan and there's no desperate rush for me to get back, so... She's staying a bit longer. How awesome is that? Hello, Brainwave. Now you're here, why don't you stay with us? Oh, no. No, I'm... you must! After all, it's my birthday and we've got 20 years catching up to do. OK. <sighs> do you still have my espresso maker? Do you still have my Joy Division poster? I don't. If you hadn't left in such a hurry. Hey, what can I do? It was... Well, a proverbial job offer you couldn't refuse. And you didn't fancy London? Yeah, we both agreed the break it was good. And then my sister stepped in. So, is it true that she tells people... Well, I kicked you into touch. You fled with a broken heart. It's a good story. It's not strictly true. Well, it's not remotely true. But she's told it so often it's become official. Oh, well, what's the matter? It's all worked out. You're happy? I'm happy. Well, you should be. My sister's really something. Not sure she'd approve of your late night visit. That was just a courtesy call. I couldn't wait. Not after 20 years, no. Anyway, how else was I going to make sure you didn't do another disappearing act? <laughs> I might still do one. You won't. Why's that? Because you keep your promises. Oh, as if. Do you seriously think he jeopardised everything we've created together in the last 20 years? I don't know, Nita. If they were inseparable for three years and she left it, didn't get out of bed for a month. Uh, hello? And for the last three weeks of it, who was he with? Yours truly. Nothing is gonna happen. I know Phil, I know how she operates. She's basically an honourable person. <laughs> now, why do I think that's not a compliment? So? I play to her conscience. I show her what a beautiful, well-ordered, perfect little world we have and defy her to wreck it. Amazing. <laughs> some cake? Are you trying to make me fat? <laughs> so... What are we all up to today? Oh. Um, I thought I'd make a few calls, have a wander about, you know, see what's changed. Don't forget Dennis, I'll fall for the will. How about you, babe? Um, well, another job I have. I thought I might go and do some of that. What about tonight? What are you up to? I don't suppose you fancy the game? United and Watford? What, have you got a spare? Seriously? I'd love to. OK, cool. Well, I've got the day from hell, so I won't be back till late afternoon. Feel free to use the spa. Here you are. Be good. See ya. See ya. Waste much time. I don't believe it. What am I reading? <laughs> oh, snap. I see Nita bought it from me. Oh, the girl's got taste. So, did you tell her we were meeting up? No, oh, did you? Not that there's anything secretive going on, it's just that we want to have a proper catch up. Yeah, without having to tiptoe around, minding what we say. In case she felt threatened. Well, she shouldn't feel threatened. Well, why would she? Why should she? You know what, I used to think that I went for Nita because she was your sister. You know, like having her would mean I still had a part of you. Well, it's 20 years now, she's become more than that. A lot more. Oh, I see that. What do you see? Well, that you're in love, that you've got 
a great marriage, an amazing life together, and you obviously still shag like rabbits. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't come here to try and resurrect things. Even if I could, which obviously I couldn't. Any risk of a drink? Margarita. The thing about Nisa, you know, she's not academic, she hasn't got your intellect, but she's got nerves. And she's got charm. And she knows how to use it. You know, when she puts her mind to something, she's pretty hard to resist. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. You know, falling on my feet, like you say. We got an amazing life, a great marriage. Oh, yeah. So great you're getting texts from Beth asking if you're up for a shag. What? I'm sorry, I thought it was mine. But it's a joke, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no. Look, I love Nita. Beth loves cares. It's kind of why we do it. What? So it's safe. So we don't wreck our marriages. It's just sex, Phil. We help each other out sometimes. And why do you need helping out? Okay, Beth, yeah, I understand. I can see that she's a bit disenchanted with cars, but you, I mean, Nita can't keep her hands off you. <laughs> Come on, how much sex do you need? Nita and me haven't had sex since 1989. I don't get it. If you've not had sex since 1989, how come you've got 16-year-old twins? IVF. You're joking. Nita wanted kids. That was, that was part of the grand plan. But, you know, if you're not having sex, it's always going to be a bit tricky, so... We went the lab way. Romantic. Nita in stirrups with her legs in the air, me next door with a pile of wank mags. Except I didn't need them. What? I used my imagination. And you know what it was? You know who I thought of as I was jerking off into a test tube? Well, I mean, I don't need to know. How does it feel, Phil? To know you had a hand in creating my kids? You know, I always thought we'd have a kid together. Nate, hey, it's all right. Sorry, didn't mean to make you jump. How's your shape? I'm fine, really. You sure? Absolutely. So, where did you get to tonight? I just met some old mates for a drink. How was the game? Yeah, we got a resort. Yeah? Journalist, you pick up your messages. There's no way you haven't got mine. Come on, Phil. We both know there's a conversation to be had. You're working tomorrow? Yeah, half day. What about you? Oh, I got this thing with Dougie, and then I thought I might nip round and see how Dennis is. We're starting to build a really good relationship. Oh my god. What is it? Dad, over there, in the road. <sighs> Nita, is it surprising? He's gonna still be around. What? I don't mean literally, but the thoughts of him, he's not gonna go away. Not with all this guilt shit. What guilt? Babe, you didn't see him for 20 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do feel bad, but not that bad. Not so I see something that wasn't there. Nita. He was there, Nash, he was there! Oh, okay, it's all right, he was there. I might just uh, look in and see if anyone planted a few scoops. Sorry, babe. Can you fill off the match? All right. Catch us later. Behave yourself. Hello, yeah, mate. Well, I've got a fridge full of ale if you fancy helping me out. No, oh, man. I better make a move. <sighs> might as well stay. 
Get proper lashed. They'll still be here by the time the girls get back. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? That's why you're here. You reckon? Mate, I'm blind, not daft. <laughs> Tell me about it. People see a white stick, they underestimate. My wife underestimates. She has no idea of things I notice. Yeah, what kind of things? Well, for a kickoff, I know she plays away. So, have you any idea who? <laughs> well, I'm a psychic. You know, maybe... I, mean, I can understand how this would happen. Maybe this is a element of paranoia. Maybe. You know, even imagination, all that shit. Yeah, possibly. Because what I do know is Beth worships you. Hey, steady. You know, she may do little to show it, but it's there. Yeah. In that case, why did she take a suitcase out the wardrobe this morning and start packing? I don't know what Beth's thinking of. If she did leave, where would she go? A fancy man, whoever he is. I can't see it somehow. Me neither. <laughs> 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 so how long is Phil staying? As long as it takes. Whatever she's here for. Which is? You don't know. Well, I gather she found ours a bit claustrophobic. She didn't say. So why do you think she's here? No, Beth asked her. I asked her. I want her opinion. See, something's eaten Beth. Known it for years. Half the time she's bladdered, the other half she's on fire. Ah, oh, Phil coming back's my lucky day. Anyone can sort Beth, Phil can. Well, what if she can't? I was a rucksack by the front door, ready to go. With my stuff. That's it. Thought we'd wait up for you. Phil's gone up to bed. Your Joe's here. Great timing. Well, well, cheers, Paul. Any time. Ciao. Do you actually know what that means? Uh, hello? Fodder? Nose bag? <laughs> Nosh? <laughs> what? You might want to choose your words more carefully. Unless you're actually offering oral sex. Hey, if everyone else is up for it. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot. I'm a parent. What would I know about muff diving? What's up, Dougie? You sitting down? Yeah. Just had a call from Vinnie Haslam. That executive dinner. Next week, 20 people. Pull it off and I get the contract, yeah. He wants to bring it forward to five o'clock today. It's a wind-up. Piss take. It's like totally am I, right? Mission, Mission impossible. impossible. Obviously. Which is obviously the point. Venue unseen, up against the clock. Can she deliver? Nita. Guys, how would you like to earn a shed load of bees? Nothing you could offer me would make it worth my while. 20 squids, and I get Magda to muck out your room. Fair, and she does my biology coursework. Deal. Arlo, what can I offer you? I'm sure I can think of something. You're doing it? Creepster. Thirty-five bottle of Baileys and an Atticus beanie. Now we're talking. You couldn't afford me. Get off. Boom. Hey. Oh, yeah. So guess where I am. 
inside or out? Out? The tree. How's the artwork? Well, I'm guessing your carpentry skills are a bit more refined these days. When can I see you? Soon as. Where? West Dean. You kidding? Anybody home? Coming, Dougie. Oh, you know where to look. I've got to go. <sighs> Just get there. Wait for me. I said no. That's not my job. How much more is this to do? Here. Here. Doug, you don't look so worried. You don't know what you're taking on. Got to drop by, check it's all under control. And you know, meter, military precision and all. I need a favour. Please. Pretty please. Well, far be it from me to state the obvious. I know. But it's what Haslam wants. It's his new baby. He wants to show it off. I did warn Nita it wouldn't be straightforward. Can you build me a frame so we can light the table from above? And Dougie, you locate it so we can use the on-site kitchen? Cool! So we'll need the chairs and the fold-up table we use for the staff Christmas dinner. Plus our table linen, cutlery, glassware. Nita, I really don't think you need to go this far. Oh, you don't? So I needn't push the boat out and lay on a really spectacular show. I shouldn't aim to have the contract in the bag by the end of the meal. Yes, but Nita, in two hours... I'll get me tools. <laughs> Hero worship? Isn't this guy just a total star? How can I ever repay you? I bet by never again reneging on our agreement to keep our businesses totally separate. Don't let me keep you. I won't. Right, switches. These are your lights. This is your audio here. You going? Yeah, good luck. I'm sure you won't need it. You know, it's times like this a girl really needs someone to hold a hand. Need to, I never met anyone less in need of hand holding. Whereas me, I'm in need of a beer. You could have one here. Fuck, I really don't want a beer. It's your baby. It's my Sunday. Where are you going? What's with the Inquisition? I know where you're going. I can absolutely guarantee you don't. Nash, wait. Nita. Don't go. I think you want it. You kept off. So what do you do here? Well, I play old songs, look at old photos, stick pins and effigies of Dan. <laughs> That's an investment. It's an office, come kid-free, neater-free zone. <laughs> How often do you use it? Less than you'd think. I actually own the whole house. Really? I own lots of houses. But neater thinks. She thinks I'm just a carpenter, which, of course, officially I am. But I've got a very healthy sideline. About which she knows nothing. Right, because if she did, she'd... she'd... want to get involved. And I don't much care for the way she does business, so I'll keep it under wraps. Wise man. Unless it's just small talk. I know. <laughs> oh, it's OK. I've gone all day. What about you? So obviously there are things you want to ask me. Such as? What I've been doing all these years. Not really. About Dan? No. Why I left? It seemed clear enough you got a job of her. We did a rocky patch. We might have come through it, maybe not. You seemed to be in a hurry to leave. I assumed you had your reasons. Oh, I did have my reasons. Do you want to give me a clue? Tell me, one day you're here, the next you're gone. No explanations, no letters, no calls. Maybe I thought you'd follow me. Maybe I thought I'd follow you. Why didn't you? Why didn't you invite me? Do you need inviting? I always need inviting. Always? 
Have you thought of me over the years? Every single day. Next. I've thought of you. I'm flattered. Next. I hated you for not coming after me. I made myself not come after you. I made myself stay away. I married Nita to get at you. I know you did. <laughs> what would we like? Crazy. Intense. Couldn't leave each other alone. Still can't. Phil, what do you want? You could have come to the church and left straight after the funeral. Why are you still here? <laughs> to bury this once and for all. How? OK. What if, just say, we've built up this whole thing, each other, our three years together, into this amazing myth? What if the reality was much less dramatic? Is much less. Isn't worth wrecking lives for. What if we went ahead and, and trashed our families, blew our lives apart, and six months down the line, we realised there was nothing to it, and all we needed was to get each other out of our systems? Huh? Once. And then we put the relationship to bed and move on. <sighs> okay. Just once, then. Just once. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I miss the checkered flag? What? Dennis, the bastard, he sold the house. What do you mean? Strung me along the totter, let me think he'd accepted my offer, and it wasn't even my highest offer. I would have gone higher. He never gave me the chance. He just sold it from under us, the family house, and... You made an offer on Smyrna Grove? Well, I... And you were going to tell me when? Oh, I would have got round to it. No, Anita. Not good enough. I didn't mean to... How are we supposed to operate? You sneaking about? Whatever happened to openness, honesty, trust? I, I didn't think. Yeah, well, start. Start. Start right now. I didn't get you out of my system. Quite the reverse. You surprised me. I want to see you. Whoa, 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 stop. What went wrong? We were supposed to lay the ghost. Yeah, well, technically we did. I just want to keep doing it. <sighs> How would that work? You leave town, I leave Nita. You move back here, I build us a house, we have our child. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we just, can we rewind just slightly? You leave Nita? Yeah, well, obviously, I'd make sure she was provided for, and the kids, I'd still see them. They're only ten minutes away. It's not like Nita's got nothing else to think about. She's got guys queuing up. And I leave Dan? I'm not into threesomes. Since when? I got old. And when would you tell her? You want to go now? No, I think she deserves to hear it face to face. What's up, babe? Where are you? I'm with Phil. Talking. About what? All sorts. I'll tell you when I get out. Tell me what? Anything you need to know. Do you remember that game? Which one? 
True dare kiss, Commander Promise. When we couldn't keep our hands off each other. Yeah, so we'd make each other sit on opposite sides of the room. And dare each other. And to describe what we were going to do to each other. This is the command variation. I ask you questions and command you to answer. Okay. Number one. Why do you think it's going to work with me this time? Because there's not been a single day in the last 20 years I haven't thought it through. Number two. Why do you want to be with me? Because you fit. Because you make me laugh. Because you are the best lay in the whole history of the world. Because you don't make lists or tick boxes or write your life in post-it notes. Because I never quite know what you're thinking. Because you can spend all of two seconds in front of the mirror, you're still the most gorgeous thing I ever saw. Because when I look at you, I'm still 19. Because I'm an addict. And you were the best hit I ever had. So, are we done with games? One more. You remember that thing we used to do? When we wanted to take things up a notch? When we were out. And some girl would hit on you and you'd play along. Like you wanted me to. And sometimes you just flirt. Sometimes it would go further. And then you'd come home and I'd rip your clothes off the minute you walked through the door. And you say our relationship was healthy. I never said our relationship was healthy. It was the most dysfunctional three years of my life. Yeah, and the most intense. And the most passionate. And the most insatiable. Do you miss it? Of course. Do you want it again? You know I do. That intense. That insatiable. Bring it on. Then you know what to do. Make me jealous. You want me to go and shag someone else? No. Not someone else. Someone very specific. Someone who, if I thought of you with them, would really chew me up. Beth. Closer. Oh, you're kidding. Welcome to Ground Zero. Where's Nita? Upstairs, I want to melt down. So who gets custody? What? You or Mum? She said you're leaving us for Phil. So where do we go? I'll come with you if it's New York. And me, as long as I get my own room and let me play Age of Empires all night. Well, last week she pulled the plug and I was on multiplayer. So why are you leaving? Look. Can we see a film or something? Dad. I'll speak to you in the morning.
Job done. And? Hot. Okay. So will you be going back for more? I just might. So I pass go and collect 200. Well, you certainly get out of jail. When can I see you? I'll call you. Well, we need to make plans if we're going to do it. I need to go. Are we going to do it? Jammed. I'm using the back. He said it was urgent. You okay. I had a slight mishap. I just thought. How oh, hard can it be? Well, I... you thought you'd just leap aboard something. You got no way of controlling. Oh, hello. It's what calling kettle. FYI, know which I'd choose. But by all means, drag it out. Watching Nita trying to outmaneuver Phil always had a high entertainment factor, especially as the result never varies. Now, if you, if you wouldn't mind, could do with your help with this. Where was the stopcock? Should I turn it off? It's in the cellar somewhere. But I, I seem to remember Dad saying it was underneath. Underneath what? The floor, I think. Nash, what are you doing here? He's flagged over it. I'm going to have to get the floor up. What for? To find the stopcock, turn the water off. Dude, Dennis, he can't. Tell him to stop. Well, you heard what he said. We need to get under the flags. Then you can't think of any reason why that would be a really bad idea. If we don't stop the water, we're going to be needing a dinghy out. Ah! Dingy, please! Does someone want to tell me what's happening? Now what? Dennis, where's the fuse box? Uh, I can't remember. It's not normal. Dennis should just let go. He should get on with his life, and so should you. Well, then. Do you think I don't want to? Do you think I wouldn't just love to pretend this never happened? Pretend what happened? There. It's that easy. Oh, what is this? If it weren't for us, there'd be no house to sell, or will to sort, or earn sat on the table. Jesus. I don't get it. Where is this coming from? We snuffed him. We may not have pulled the trigger, but we sure as shit loaded the gun. I need to get out of here. You see, if it was me, I'd be planning elsewhere. I'd be extricating my nose from Dennis's ass. I'd stop making plans about other people's houses. And I'd turn the attention to my husband and his ex-girlfriend and what they might... <laughs> Sorry, cock. Did I give you a turn? Just... Just swear to me. T tell me. He's real. He's a not imagined, not a ghost, just an arsehole. <laughs> Always had time for you. Speak your mind, I like that. Why, Dad? What was the point? Pretending to be dead. What did you possibly hope to achieve? You, you knew he was still around? Did you? And you were going to tell me when? Today, actually. If you haven't been mind jiving with Brycey, babe. Dad, what you've done, it's actually, it's immoral. Is it? Is it? So, what would you call harassing a pensioner? Trying to drive him out of his own home? Who'd do that? I wouldn't call it harassing. You didn't? I just made a couple of calls. 17 calls. Just Talking a... about deceit? Can we please discuss the small matter of the contracts that I exchanged on this house? You've what? You bought this? How? When? The day after the funeral. <laughs> well, you were all gassing on about selling. I just came round and sounded Dennis out. <laughs> and you didn't think to mention this? It's a private matter. I thought it'd be interesting watching you scrap over it, see your true colours. Except no one did scrap. Uh, hello. So when were you going to tell me? 
Well, that depends. Maybe never. If I did it up and sold it, maybe next year, if I did it up for us. Us? As a family? Are we a family? How much did you offer? Jump sight more than you did. I gave a good price. As a respect for the family connection. Mate, I'm sorry. You have no idea how much I didn't want to get involved with this. Now, I'm assuming the deal is still going to go ahead as planned. Well, no, obviously not. It's all right. Why wouldn't it? What do you mean? That's all right. Dad, stop! Alice is going to faint! The matter with it? Girls, that's no way to greet your mother. On a so-called secret, which not? Oh, tell you. Why? Why didn't you tell us? I shouldn't have had to tell you. How dare you even think? What does he need now? His own family. Back together. Under this roof. You waiting? He's circling the plug hole, guys. Make an effort. the last time you wore your wedding ring? I never wear my wedding ring. That's a hazard. I operate machinery. I wish you would wear it. I don't think it fits anymore. Do you even know where it is? Somewhere. Help yourselves to food and drink in the hall. Aging pothead and vindictive old git at large. Mind your back. This is great. So, we got here then? Ethan Lola, this is your granddad. Well, you can give us a hug, can't you? I'm not the bogey man. That's a matter for debate. So. Who wants to meet Granny? Less of the Granny, knobhead. <laughs> Excellent. Funny thing, the memory. Yeah? Rose tinted specks. And then you remember. I've all been there. Because. Well, I'm not one to moan, but this is one night I would love a working pair of peepers. Right, where's the sparklers? He filmed us all. He had cameras everywhere. Why? <laughs> Why would anyone go to all that trouble just to see what his family thought of him? Couldn't he just ask? <laughs> yeah, like we really do telling the truth around here. Yeah, well, maybe we should start. You can wait. I'm a good promise. Hey, Dougie, what's up? You said anything? No. Yeah. She looks shaky. Yeah, she does. Nice. Yeah, well, I could take the easy option, Phil. Maybe I should, maybe it's simpler all around. Walk away, don't even think about what if. Now I can make the tough call. Stay. With Nita. Work at it. And it will take work. Because of you, because I will always. No, guess what? Vinnie Haslam was impressed by the scale of my ambition, and he's willing to take a leap of faith. We got the contract. Wow, that's great. That's really... Later. Yeah. You know, is this anything? What? Family party. Oh, yeah, I know. Business I know. can wait. True. 
What's that? What? So it wasn't lost. Mislaid. Was it planned? We just got carried away. So what do you think of Nita's new project? She's convinced she made a shit job of the first two. This is her final attempt to get it right. You guys don't buy that shiz. You just know I dig your big start. <laughs> you look beautiful, really. In fact, it makes me wonder. Oh, just stop it. So Dan couldn't make it, then? It's work stuff, you know. Well, that'll have to change. Kids need both their parents around. Oh, well, I'll try and live up to your towering standards. I'm really happy for you. Thank you.